Tis the season for LEGO offers, following sales in November with an Insiders Double Points weekend before Black Friday, and then multiple deals over Black Friday, LEGO are back at it again with what will be the final Insiders long weekend of the year. So let's find out what offers are available from Friday 8th to Tuesday 12th of December 2023. We start off with double Insiders points on all purchases, effectively giving 10% cash back if you trade those points for money off vouchers. That's absolutely standard for Insiders weekends, but we also get some gifts with purchase, and this time around we have a pretty nice wintertime carriage plus Christmas decor set. You'll need to make a purchase of 150 US dollars or 200 Canadian or 130 pounds to qualify for the wintertime carriage gift with purchase, and that would also get you the Christmas decor set or alternatively, a 70 USD, 90 Canadian, 65 pound purchase would get you the Christmas decor set by itself. The wintertime carriage set is nice and clearly inspired by the likes of the horse and carriage rides you can take around places like New York's Central Park. It might not be what you'd immediately think of as a seasonal idea, but it's entirely appropriate and great for display alone or city builders. It's a pretty high threshold at $200 for getting the gift with purchase, but it's a nice one all the same. The Christmas decor set is basically three baubles of different colours with the same build for each or you can mix and match the colours up as you wish. I'm sure they will go nicely on a tree and hopefully look a little more festive than the way Lego have photographed them on their somewhat radiation affected tree here. In terms of insiders rewards it looks like there are some new rewards to trade your points for with a couple of pop-up postcard sets although I doubt most of you want to spend your points on them. The actual Lego set collectibles that are fairly recently added are the Grey Castle set and tape player, both available for 2400 points. Just remember that these come in those unattractive yellow boxes, so aren't quite so desirable for the purpose of reselling, but if you're planning on building them, then of course go for them. I'm not personally a fan of these two, but I'd say the tape player looks to be a far more interesting build than the Grey Castle. Overall, nothing too special, but always worth checking out this section if you don't just want to trade in for money off vouchers. We'll also take a look at the sale section of the site, starting off with North America, where we have the long-time sale item, the Black Panther Bust, at a huge 40% off. It's not too often you see anywhere do LEGO discounts this big, let alone LEGO themselves, so I think this tells you all you need to know about this set. Nobody wants it. It's somewhat mystifying that they chose to do this outside of the sizes of the regular helmet range that the Star Wars and other Marvel ones have been in, but I think it was a slight overestimation of how popular the Black Panther character is, versus how much people enjoyed the first film, which was at the height of the MCU's popularity. It would get you over the threshold for gifts with purchases, but let's be honest, you and no one else is likely to pull the trigger on this one. Other than that, we have the 2023 Lunar New Year sets at 20% off. They're pretty good, although maybe not a standout year for the sub theme. They're available for a bigger discount in November, I believe. But this would be one of your last chances to pick them up, and that parade set has an insane amount of great minifigures, especially for building up a Chinatown section of a city. We've also got the fundamentally overpriced Iron Man Armoury at 30% off, making it a bit more viable, but it's had a discount on it for a prolonged period. Maybe you could use parts alongside the new Avengers Tower to replace the incongruous Loki jail cell that's in that set, but shouldn't be. Finally, we have a load of brickheads on sale, so it might be a good chance to pick any up if you collect those, plus the permanently on sale mini Disney The Haunted Mansion at 40% off. It seems a lot of the Disney sets have been discounted more than I'd have noticed in previous years. Maybe stock's been shifting a little slower than expected. Is the tide turning with the American public against their Disney overlords? Who knows? The LEGO UK website has some fairly different sales on there with the Atari 2600 at 30% off, that's unsurprising as Atari was a far bigger deal in North America than Europe, there just isn't the massive nostalgia for it in Europe. Also on sale there is the hideously overpriced LEGO City Double Loop Stunt Arena at 40% off. I think LEGO were maybe trying to go after some of the Hot Wheels market with this sub theme, but I don't know if it's been a roaring success. Differently to North America, we also find the LEGO 2K Drive games with 30% discounts, but I suspect you'd find them cheaper elsewhere. Plus we've got some Friends and Monkey Hood sets, but most interestingly is a seasonal set with the Christmas Reef 2-in-1 set with 20% off. That might be a nice one to pick up if going for the Christmas decor set gift with purchase. It can be built to be hung up or as a table display and is arguably decent as a parts pack with all of those plant elements. Separately to all of that, it's also the end of the year, so there are a few sets coming up to retirement, including three modular buildings with Assembly Square, the Police Station and Bookshop coming to retirement. The police station appears to be sold out in North America, but otherwise all three are available and will get you over the thresholds for those gifts with purchase. 
I'm personally thinking about picking up the bookshop as I already have the other two. The police station is the best of the three in my opinion. I'll likely build the bookshop as is, but then may think about parting out and doing some kind of mock. Are any of you looking to purchase anything this double points weekend? Or is it just too close to Christmas to justify spending the money? Or are you instead waiting for all of the upcoming January releases? Let me know in the comments below and have yourselves a very Merry Christmas.